the automated teller machine ATM gallery of a commercial bank in Onipano area of Lagos State yesterday was immediately deserted after a man on the queue slumped, causing panic as many suspected it was a possible COVID-19 case. A member of staff and a security personnel immediately summoned courage and evacuated the man from the scene while health workers were alerted. When checks were run on the man, it indicated that he had a high temperature although Others blamed alcohol in the hot sun for the incident. See, others speculated it could have been as a result of suffocation at the crowded ATM following the relaxation of the lockdown by the federal government. For a while, bank customers deserted the ATM gallery as they fled the scene for fear of contacting the virus. Many of the eyewitnesses said the man had had difficulty in breathing and was panting heavily shortly before the, the collapse while on the queue. That was one of the many highlights of the day of one of this of one of the ease of lockdown which began yesterday after five weeks of restriction of movements. Contrary to Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwolu's appeal against flooding the road, resident trooped out a mass to transact their various businesses. There was total chaos as residents Motorist commercial bus operators stormed the roads as early as 7 a.m. Across the state, there were gridlocks on the roads visited. Motorists stayed along, stayed long hours in traffic before getting to their destinations. The bus rapid transit (BRT) operators kept to the 60% occupancy capacity, with 21 passengers on board. Though passengers on the BRT long queue did not observe physical distancing. However, the operators only permitted passengers with face masks on board. Many of the commercial buses popularly called downfalls flouted the 60% occupancy capacity as they carried full load during the early morning rush hour. Commuters, however, expressed concern over the increase in transport fares. The three cycles popularly called Kekemarwa in compliance with the directive of Lagos State government conveyed to just two passengers, thereby increasing the cost of transportation by 100%. For instance, Ikorudu garage to my 12 that used to be 100 naira was being increased to 200 naira. The Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last month, however, impounded some commercial vehicles in the Anthony area of Lagos for violating the number of passengers that could be in the vehicle to curb the spread of the pandemic. The officer on duty who does not want his name in print said every motorist would face the full wrath of the law. Meanwhile, anxious commuters trooped out in droves into the city center of Abuja yesterday as frenetic activities characterized the face easing of the five weeks lockdown to control community spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Beer staffed residents, particularly those in the suburbs and part of the city center, also used the opportunity of the parties Pasha is yesterday to quench their appetite by visits to drinking joints, which also opened for brisk business in neighborhoods before commencement of the overnight coffee from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Millions of citizens in the country have been living under restrictions ordered by the government since May, March 30th as part of the measures to fight the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Hmm. So guys, uh, there's a, this video going viral yesterday. The people in the, um, what is it called? Uh, bar. I was just wondering... Could that be a recent uh, gathering or so? You know, even at the at the entry and en uh, entrance of the bar, they will just press uh, this sanitizer in your hands and you know go in, and they just believe that by just doing everything is okay. What of somebody who has it inside? And as you are talking, there's because even in that video you could see that there there was nothing like a face mask and there was nothing like a social distances. Everybody was just doing what they like. People take responsibility of your life. If anything happens, that is just the end. You don't even have no cure. Even the sicknesses that even have cure. You see that uh, even if you want to go to uh, private hospitals, you have to pay through your nose. Not to talk of a government hospital that they don't have anything. You see the way they, the manner at which they treat people. They, I don't care attitude. When you, 
anything government thing i don't care attitude is just always there if you are going to what is it called private hospital you are going to pay through your nose not to talk of if it involves this kind of a thing i'm even talking about ordinary sickness not to talk of this one that we are talking about that is everybody is really afraid of i don't just understand because uh coffee the one that even happened in abuja the one that happened because of a uh, uh, because of the coffee that was going to be happening in the evening they just wanted to enjoy themselves in the daytime hey <laughs> hey i think uh, people should just take notes or should just be you know take a gift from what is happening in Kano state people never believed it so and again the person that slumped you know during on the queue of the atm where he wanted to collect money you know everybody must be careful the one the one that even got me was the one that they said the people immediately the guy collapsed the people everybody just scattered but if on the on the queue they were there was no social distancing just to tell you that these people i don't just know whether it's a deliberate act, but immediately the guy collapsed they knew quite all right that oh there's something called a covid 19 in town and on, on that queue they couldn't even maintain social distancing so who is fooling who because we say maybe the education is not even enough uh, maybe educating people on this issue is not enough people know what is happening but they just they're just uh, charlatans they are just careless as soon as the guy fell down, all of them came to their senses. Oh, yes, COVID, 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 COVID. And you were not maintaining social distancing. Even a lot of pictures yesterday, a lot of videos came up yesterday. People at the bus stop, you know, they observed the social distancing. Oh, mask and you must put it on. But on the queue for you to for the BRC, for you to enter the BRC itself, no social distancing. So what are we talking about? What are we talking about? There's no job done. If people could not maintain social distancing on the queue and you are maintaining other measures, taking uh, cognizance of that other measures, how do you expect the whole thing to work? We need to be careful. We know that things are hard. We know that there uh, are a lot of inconveniencing here and there, but we must be careful. Life has no duplicates. Life does not have duplicates. That is why you need to be careful. We are just telling people it is their life, but I don't know why they are just taking... Taking things ordinarily like that, it, it does not matter. It does not matter. I beg, let them go. I am hungry. I'm hungry. It is somebody who is alive that will be talking of hunger. Somebody who is dead will not be talking of that one. That one is past. And everybody wants to live. Nobody wants to die. So if you want, if you don't want to die, that means you have to be careful. You have to be at at a last and make sure that you do the right thing at the right time. And at the end of the day, everybody is going to be smiling. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning all of this. Leave your comment below and let's have your take.